hello guys welcome back to my channel planet for tech i hope you all are doing great so in the continuing session of our php learner today i am going to describe you some new concept and new topics for the php so guys before moving to the next topic uh, i want to request you uh, if you are new in the channel so don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so once you will press the bell icon so you will be able to see our latest videos on notification on top so let's start the today's session so today i am going to describe you this part that array map array reduce and array walk so these three functions of array looks similar and uh, the way of taking argument is also kind of similar you can say but there is a basic difference in these three so this is basically uh, asked in our interview question when you are facing the technical round so let's see what these are so guys you can see here i have uh, prepared one comparison chart so in that we can just uh, we will just just discuss what features uh, in which they are different and they are similar then after we will look these points practically by using one uh, example of employee and their salary so you can see array map array walk and array reduce these are three functions so the syntax looks like a bit similar but there are some difference as well so array map you can see here so in the array map let me zoom it for you guys yeah so in the array map the syntax look like it takes the cf cf is nothing but callback function and we can pass n number of arrays it is not limited only for the one or two arrays you can pass n number of array here and uh, in array walk the first argument is array whatever array we have to process that we have to pass and uh, another parameters we need to pass here that is a uh, uh, list of parameters whatever you want to pass you can pass it and the first argument let me one cf is skipped here let me add it here cf so second parameter is a uh, callback function you can see here let me reduce yes so second parameter is callback function and third is the parameters so we can pass some extra parameters as well in array reduce it also receive three parameters the first is the array and the second one is the uh, callback function and the last one is the initial value so by going to the syntax you can see array map takes the callback function as the first argument but array walk and array reduce takes callback function as the second argument so this is the first difference second difference callback function it is not a difference it is a similarity you can say so callback function we need in array map it is needed and in uh, array walk also needed and in array reduce it is needed so we will see like what this callback function is why we call any function as a callback function so see uh, so this is a kind of similarity and the third point is returns so array map returns an array means the response of array map we will get that will be an array array walk it uh, it does not return any value it just process the array but not returns any value array reduce it returns the single value so this is the difference between these three array map returns the array array walk does not return any value but process the uh, element of array array reduce returns the single value and the third difference is you can see associative array uh, guys you know like we uh, we have already gone through the two types of array indexed array and the associative array in index array we don't need to pass the key of the array element the keys are by default get assigned from 0 to n minus 1 so this we have already covered in a previous video and uh, in associative array we associate a particular key to all the elements of array so this is what associative array so you can see here array map can process uh, only the value of array means uh, value of the array it can process but it can't process the keys 
but in case of array walk it process value as well as keys guys you can see here it can process the value as well as keys but in array map it only process the value so this point you have to make a note it process the only the value and array walk process value as well as keys and array reduce uh, only process the values it never take care about the keys whatever we are passing there so this is the difference between these three uh, functions let me show you this in a practical way so let me start my visual studio so here i am going to take a single uh, example to demonstrate the difference between these three functions with the points what we have already discussed so let me take one array this that array is uh, you can say emp records so i am going to create one array emp list so in this array so this is going uh, i am this is uh, an associative array so here uh, let me take the first employee Ramesh so Ramesh salary is let's suppose uh, 10,000 skip it like this in the same way we can have three or four other employee as well Suresh Shyam Mohan so salary is 5,000 20,000 and uh, you can say 30,000 so you can see we have one uh, associative array AMP list in this the keys are showing the name of the employee and the values are showing their salary respective values are showing their va uh, salaries let me print this array first here you can see it is showing like this now we are going to use function array map array reduce and array walk so echo one uh, increment so the first uh, demonstration i am going to show you uh, let me take uh, line break so firstly uh, i am going to show you the example of array map how this array map works there so we want to increment every employee's salary by uh, 1000 means the salary of ramesh will be uh, 11000 and the suresh will become 11 uh, 6000 and this will be uh, 21 and this will be 31000 here we are going to increment the salary of each employee by 1000 so how we can do this so for that we need to create one function let me create function increment uh, you can say yeah increment we can make it like this and here we need to pass the salary and we are going to return the same salary with increment of thousand so this way it looks like now uh, we want to use this increment with the help of dollar result array map so as we know the syntax of array map in this the first argument is the callback function so what is this callback function the callback function means we have already defined the function somewhere else and we are passing its name as argument so this function is called as callback function so here you can see the function is defined here and in the line number uh, 17 i'm going to pass the name of this function as argument so it becomes as callback function now the second parameter of array map is nothing but the list of employee so this is the employee let me print echo here let me make it a bit uh, meaningful So this is the employee you can say 
employee basic salary and after applying the uh, array map let me make so we, by using the array map we are incrementing it, their salary and we are just going to print it after doing the increment just see how it looks so guys you can see here so the basic salary was 10,000, 5,000, 20,000, 30,000 but after applying the array map it is showing the salary as 11,000, 6,000, 21,000, 31,000. It means it has increased the sal every, uh, salary of every employee by 1,000. So this is the example of suitable example for array map what it returns. Now let me give you the demonstration of other method that is what array reduce I am going to show you array reduce so what it does let's suppose I want to know the sum of uh, salary for all the employees so how we can calculate by using the array reduce so I am going to call that array reduce function here so here we need to pass the first argument as the array and the second argument is the callback function so let me make it uh, calculate or you can make it sum only so this here the sum is the callback function but we can see the sum function is not defined anywhere so we need to define it as well function as you am sum so previous value you can say uh, v1 and the next value is v2 so we are returning here so we are uh, adding previous value v1 with the next value v2 so it will give us the sum of salary ideally it should be uh, you can see here 10,000, 5,000, and 20, and 30. So it should be 65,000 around. Let me show you. You can see here array reduce sum of salary, it is showing like this. So array reduce return give us the single value. That is why it is giving you the single value here. So this is the example of array reduce in this consent. Now I am going to show you how we can. Or use the array walk so array walk uh, looks bit different I'm going to show you this here so let's suppose I have to uh, create or I have to uh, create a sentence to uh, which can show like uh, the which employees having uh, which salary so for that we can use the array walk so in the array walk also the first argument is the array so it is showing the uh, info about salary info about emp and salary it is going to give us the information in sentence form uh, which employees having uh, what amount of salary so here we want to pass display cell EMP info you can see here I am going to write new callback function that is display EMP info if I am going to run it so let's see what it is showing oh it's showing one error you can see here array walk need a callback function which is not defined the function display emp info not found let's see why it is showing like this uh, yes you can see here so we have used the display emp info function name as a callback function but the definition of this function is not defined that is why we are getting that error so we can define that function anywhere let me define here itself function so in the previous two example we have seen we have not processed the 
key of the array means we have not processed the name of the employee we just process their salary in one in, in the array map we have in the array map we have just uh, increased the salary of every employee by 1000 so we have uh, access only the salary part not the employee name and uh, in the array reduce again we have added the salary of each employee so we have not touched their name we just added their salary so these two function array map and array reduce work only on the value of the array but array walk works on value as well as the key so now we are going to access the name of the employee as well as their value or you can say salary so what we need to pass here the first is the key and the second is the value you can say so let me print one array like echo sorry uh, let me make a sentence the key the key we know that key is nothing but the employee name so we can make it emp name as well and we know like uh, the value is nothing but the salary so we can make it salary so we can make the sentence emp name means this employee is getting salary of dollar salary sorry so let me show you how it looks now guys uh, let me give one uh, br so that you can read it better way uh, let me give the br here in the beginning br line break br we use just for the line break to display it in a better way yes you can see here oh sorry it is 10,000 is getting salary of Ramesh uh, this value is replaced so it will come here the first it, it takes the value and the second it takes the key here you can see Ramesh is getting salary of this much Suresh is getting the salary of this much so here we have access the key of array the key is what the employee name as well as we have access its value that is what the salary so array walk access both the key and the value as well but array map and array reduce only access the value of the array that is why in array map we were just incrementing the salary of employee we were not able to access or we are not able to touch the name of the employee here because these name are as the key of this array in case of array reduce also we have just added the salary value we have not touched the key because the keys are what the name of the employee so array map and array reduce never touch the never access the key of the array but uh, in case of array walk it access the key as well as the salary of sorry as the key as well as the value of array so this is the difference we have already discussed here in these notes you can see in in case of associative array array map works on the value but not the key and uh, array walk work on the value as well as keys so here you can see in the array reduce also it works on the value only so this was the difference between the array map array reduce and array walk so guys i hope this is uh, clear for all of you and uh, this is important question uh, one of the so you can prepare this question very well because in an interview when the interviewer will ask so you will reply in this way so definitely you will get plus sign so in this video this much guys uh, just keep uh, practicing by watching the previous video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest notification of our videos thank you thank you guys